Hi everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. So in regards to this um, healthcare stuff, um, so if anybody else is going through the same thing out there, this is what I found as far as healthcare goes. Um, today's date is April 11th, 2019. So what I found in regards to private health insurance, not government funded, meaning SSI, CHIP, or any of those things because we do not qualify due to our income. We used to qualify when our income was different, but now that our income has changed for the past two and a half something years, we no longer qualify. So pushing that out, we've also called the marketplace uh, every week for the past one year to get on that hamster wheel where they refer us back to social services, you know, a human, human, uh, what is that? Um, health and human services, which we don't qualify. So it's a hamster wheel. The private insurance companies I've called over 40 in the past two years, all saying, sorry, we can't accept you at this time. Sorry. Cause we have, my son has cerebral palsy. It's a preexisting condition. Um, they will gladly insure myself and my two year old who does not have any health issues, but for my 15 year old, it's a no. So today I did a shout out on YouTube and thankfully a lot of you sent me information. So I contacted most of them. Most of them denied us just like the other 40, but there was one that is attempting to help us. Um, I told them that they must send me paperwork and you know, the details before I, you know, submit a payment, but so far so good. What I found is that, um, I found four different insurance companies that will take us, but here's the catch. They only pretty much will cover 5% to 50% of whatever my son's healthcare needs are. And they, um, they also informed us that it's a one year sort of grace period once we sign up. So for the first one year, they'll only cover 5% to 50%. That depends on if they decide whatever, whatever they feel like doing. So it doesn't mean like, oh, you, you, you know, pay the monthly fee and that means you get 50% coverage on everything. So I could go to a speech therapy and they could tell us, oh, we're gonna decide to only cover 5%. Um, and then when it comes to his prescriptions for the epilepsy, which stems from the cerebral palsy, well, we'll cover 50%. And then maybe, you know, the next month when I need to go pick up the prescriptions, they might tell us, sorry, we're only covering 7% this month. So for one year, I have to put up with that. And in hopes that after the one year grace period, they will then um, tell us, or offer us a little bit more of a discount. So a little bit more of a discount could be 55%. So an extra 5%. So this is the best I've found after calling all of these things. Also, for those of you out there that are looking for health coverage for a pre-existing condition, understand that if you fill out those forms online to see if you qualify or to see to get quotes, understand that you're gonna have everybody and their mama contacting you. Just because you filled out a form to deal with a certain company, that doesn't mean that you won't have a million other companies that are not connected, that are just gonna try to scam you into, um, into paying for a $1,000 a month prescription drug card or a $3,000 a month prescription drug card. So be very, very careful when filling out those things online. That's why I personally prefer to only talk to a company directly on the phone and then make sure that you guys are Googling the company afterwards because they, they may be a scam company as well. Cause I've had to, in the past two and a half years, get a new bank card because I, I got, you know, I, they attempted to scam me and before I had to quick stop payment before I couldn't stop payment. So I had to just get a new card issued to me. Um, so that I didn't get a prescription drug card that would save me 3%. <laughs> yeah, um, for $1,000 a month, yeah. So just uh, make sure that you guys are you know, Googling, make sure that you're doing your investigations. Unfortunately, if you are in the United States, this is the nightmare that you will have. Um, Obamacare is no longer. There's certain open enrollment periods, but even with the open enrollment periods, private insurance companies, they have every right to deny you. They don't owe you anything because no, there's no more protection under Obamacare. Trump decided that that's not gonna happen. So 
pretty much if you have a pre-existing condition if your child has a disability your only option is to not be able to make a decent wage not be able to have a decent income and accept that or or work your butt off and get a nose everywhere you go so that's the only those are the only options as of 2019 as of april 2019 and going back to even two years ago so we're you know it's a, it's a lot of trouble um if i can't find anything better i just might have to go to a different country um i wanted to move to canada but they told me you either have to marry a Canadian citizen and do it that way. But they said, um, because of my son's cerebral palsy, they said that would be putting a burden on them. And they do not consider American citizens refugees. So if I was from a country where they considered, you know, where they considered the people that come there refugees, they would gladly take me in in Canada. But because we aren't considered refugees, because we're American citizens, they, they told us no. All right, guys, jamiezebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.